I don't know how to say it. Specialist, <laughs> brat specialist. <laughs> Have I ever any red brat today? No. Uh, Please tell her no. Because I'm looking at it. Okay. So she says it looks okay. Like mm. <laughs> that's not last week I was to be assessed. <laughs> 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 so you guys were wondering what kind of question is that? Last yes, week yeah. we talked about bras, and of course we had good feedback. It was quite interesting, and we all enjoyed ourselves, yes, we and did. we learned a lot, and we felt that we needed to talk about it again because there's so many other aspects that we did not cover uh -huh. so we'll be talking about bras today we'll be taking it from <laughs> some interesting point like points bras. <laughs> yeah. but before then let's ask how was your week Daryl? oh it was very well thank god it was fine yeah mine was fantastic easy but fantastic the specialist. Oh, How was good. your? The specialist. Was oh, you know, <laughs> someone actually sent me a message. It wasn't bad actually. The feedback from exactly. from the show. I was gonna you say know, that. a lot of people were, were a lot of people that I told from my end. You know, who listened? Who listened on? Had a lot to say. You know, and obviously they they also had questions and they want they wondered why the the show was so short. Oh my goodness! So I said, okay, <laughs> tune in next week. Excellent. Someone sent Excellent. a message on our page and said, please, Taiwo, don't make that mistake of not putting the contact out there. You guys didn't say where she is. Exactly. I was where just going to say, I was just going to ask. Yeah. Hope you got called. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, well, that's, we, that's good. We, we didn't. We didn't put out. We, we should. No, she said her number. I, I did oh, say my did? number, but it was yeah. just one of the numbers. Yeah, so okay. And then we didn't put her address. Yeah. Okay. So you want to quickly say that now before? Okay. We go. I, I'm. I'm. You can on. find me on Akerele Street, Swilere, for number forty, Akerele Street, and then my numbers are zero eight zero five two one nine one double three nine. That's zero eight zero five two one nine one double three nine, and then zero eight one. Eight three double one nine seven three six zero eight one eight three double one nine seven three six, and you can just like us on free on Facebook Calends. Okay, so we're going to start exactly where we stopped last week. Um, we stopped at costing, and I mean, we you know we did a survey, and about forty people filled the survey, including men, and we find that the bulk. Of women who feel the self and the survey do not want to go near a bra that costs more than five thousand naira. In fact, inside that five thousand naira, we have the bulk of the people wanting to stay and stop at one five. Mm. So you know, I, I would think that something as personal as that, that is close, the most intimate part of you, but you would want to spend, spend more. money. You want well, to spend. The trick about yeah. it, because because it's underneath. Everything. Yeah, you but it's carrying your sorts. assets. You need to treat says. it with care. Yeah, what what, what most, most women say is, who is going to see it anyway? You know. Uh, and I'm like, <laughs> that's not true. Who, 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 no, but it's you know, true. When you want to not see someone special, then you now wear the expensive one of 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your husband now, no, you are going to see someone special. Uh, uh, so you are going to see someone special. No, no, but your husband, okay, no, no, but your husband, husband. when you get home, you can cool, remove your clothes before and, dre uh, and dress down, so uh, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't And then if he doesn't really like it, I think it does matter. You. you know? <laughs> but, 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 but I think most, even if you had put 500 naira, you'd have been surprised. Mm. Oh, people put yes. 500. No, people put 500. Okay, people okay. Were there were some people that yeah, like walk into my store to say, uh uh, is it that expensive? You know, and even if you're doing sales and you're crashing into like two thousand or mm -hmm. you know you're doing mega you sales like one five, and it's too expensive now. You know, I'm like, excuse me. You know, but you <laughs> so tell me, what makes a good bra? Why does it cost so much? 
I think we talked about that last week. Yeah. The, the materials used to make it. It's yeah. not. It's and then it's it, it's a yeah. specific sewing. You know, it's just like it's yeah. customized. Every size is customized. It's not just like um, cutting and sewing. Okay. So you have each bra is first of all sewn to, to size, and then the, the pattern, details. the details. You have to get the the wiring right, the under the, the underwire um, shape correctly. You know, the distance, I everything. Know. It's not just. Do you business. import your bras or do you make them yourself? I import, but we're working towards making. Mm, nice. Wow. Towards that because I, I realize that our body structure in Africa mm -hmm. is different from those. From the Western world, yeah, so we, we really need something that would fit us here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm looking and, and forward to you right because they make yeah. bras in Nigeria already. Yeah. Are those on each other bras? No, I mean, <laughs> <bras>. <laughs> okay. So, I guess what the lesson is is that you shouldn't really think about the cost first but about the value yeah. it's adding to you mm -hmm. to get the right bra. Because I was looking at some, I was just reading through, and there, there are a lot of advantages of getting the right bra and spending the right money would actually get you closer to getting the right bra, yeah. right? Because yes. you just go and pick up a 500 naira bra mm -hmm. and you wear that maybe by next week the iron is coming up there, you're choking it. But <laughs> at, at a time in my it's life, I really need to do a lot of bras. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not even like, I'm, I'm not lying. I think we all pass. I'm not like, as in, I was I putting this. I think we all pass. I'll be sticking. That was my first attempt. Second I said to you last bra, week. We hey. Okay, so, um, as we, you know, as we were saying the survey also covered other aspects and one question we asked was do you even think bras are necessary do you like bras do you hate bras and guys said oh yes i'm an advocate for bras <laughs> then you had girls saying the bulk over 40 people 40 percent saying that i don't want to wear bras i don't like bras and i'm thinking why do we hate bras so much i was reading some article and the girl described the relationship with the bra as an attention grabbing stage five clinging suffocating relationship and some days she just wants out and i think she can i mean she's speaking for a lot of people what do you think so why why why, why? I, mean, I think that it's just okay why do ladies why would we rather wear trousers than wear skirts we wear skirts to make a fashion statement but the truth of the matter when you think about sitting down putting your legs together the and comforts. all it's not quite comfortable mm. you know so yes even as a, as a bra person, I get home and I and I clean it out. Oh, please let me say something. At the airport when I was coming back from the mountain, one lady sat in front of everybody, as in yeah, international flights. And the lady sat and she just pulled her bra out. The two oh big bras, as in the two sides just I came out from the side. She was just sitting down there. Everybody, as in like you could see, everybody was like, oh, what's going on? And she sat down. It's quite, it's quite discomfort. Not in public. Yeah. But why? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Public. Is that something that we can do that can assist the with comfort? The comfort? Yeah. Well, I, I believe that when you get your right, getting the right size and type of bra, I will always go back to that, mm. would help. Okay. Okay. But it's still, it's still restricting. Mm. And everybody wants to be free. Even your, your mm. muscles, your nerves want to be free. And so that's why I would always, I would, I'll tell my, my, my clients that you need to massage your bra every day. Oh, massage your yes. bra? Tell us about Take your bra that. out, maybe after a shower or something. You need to massage, you know the your way breasts, you, you do your you breast you examination? Breast. Yes, your breast. Sorry, not your bra, your breast. Oh, you massage, massage your breast. breast. Massage underneath, relax the muscles. It, yeah. They need to relax, they need to breathe. Intelligent. So every Intelligent. night, you take out your bra, either before a shower or, or after. Just massage it and then and then leave it. Or get someone to help you massage it. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have a question though. Um, is there an advantage to because some people wear their some people wear their bras to sleep and some people don't. Yes, is there exactly. an advantage? Is there an advantage to wear your bras to sleep? Wrong. Does it help to wear your bras to sleep? It's, it's absolutely wrong. Oh, it's right. just the same way why you shouldn't wear your pants to sleep. You should wear your, you should yeah, your <laughs> pants. That's to a gist for another day. Let me like, you need to breathe. Every part of your body needs to breathe. Interesting. So yes. It's so it's wrong. But but does it help it stay firmer? It doesn't help anything. Stay up. It no, but help when you're sleeping, I mean, no, but seriously, yeah. I'm kidding. You <laughs> busty, a lot of busty people when we're in uni life, a lot of busty people used to say things like, "I need to sleep in my bra yeah. because they need firmness." It doesn't have blah, to be blah, the blah. bra. You can wear something else, something a bit freer. Okay. But it, especially if you're busty, something freer. Yeah. But What's the side effect of wearing your bra? Yeah, maybe like sleep. Bra exactly. Maybe that's the question to ask. You don't get to relax your muscles. So 24 hours they are. Yeah, that, can, that can yeah. even be it's 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 not it's, it's not healthy okay and then yeah, it, <laughs> you're not just comfortable mm. 
you okay. know I, I understand the pain that could come from being busty mm -hmm. you know and then having to carry and all that mm -hmm. but you could do something lighter maybe a camisole that is clinging mm -hmm. would hold it in place better but then it's not as tight as as, the as a bra mm -hmm. So we're saying we'll go on to talk about perception of people who don't wear bras. Um, I remember from way back, I, re I read one novel when I was young, it was my dad's novel, and it shows an advertising executive and then she goes for a meeting with a guy that she likes and she doesn't wear a bra and then the guy is, he's a very forward guy with women. Mm -hmm. that, that was his reputation in the novel. Mm -hmm. So he noticed that she wasn't wearing bras and immediately he reached over on, under her shirt and started to, you this know, very... and then she she <laughs> felt very... Um, wait, wait what's, what's the point of... His point was that she wanted what he wanted to do to her. Do you oh, understand? He, okay. Because she wasn't wearing a bra. It was obvious she wasn't wearing a bra. So, so it was inviting. Oh. Exactly. So you, that okay. that's a perception. So is that... Um, is that necessarily the perception women who don't wear bras I've are also, they seem to be loose, i've also gotten funny, i've also gotten a perception kind of, of you are dirty exactly i've, I've, I've yeah. heard i've heard guys say you know look at her dirty girl because, because she's not she's wearing, wearing a bra girl. yes I, I think so men are visual mm -hmm. okay. see so um when when a, a lady wears a nightgown mm. it doesn't usually come with a bra mm -hmm. yeah and the guy sees he's sexually aroused aroused okay so when a, a girl is walking on the road without a bra i mean already with the bra the guy has, uh, has undressed you without uh, the bra so, so without the bra you are undressed <laughs> without him having to do interesting. it interesting so i think it's i think i don't think it's decent i don't think it's but however people with very small boobs yeah can, can actually get away, make, with get away with it depending on the clothing yeah. You know, I think I think and, and maybe but very firm boots. Yes, too. yes, very firm. That's why I said small and firm. Yeah, I actually firm. read um in a in a um an article, I think uh Offerton Post or something, about a girl's um adventure in court of not wearing a bra for six months and going to the corporate world, mm -hmm. you know, and she was very busty. And she said she would go there in the morning, like wear proper shirts and everything, but it was obvious she was not wearing a bra. That people spoke, she got queries, she did everything, but she did, nobody could come to tell her you know what go and put on a bra that it got to a point that she was afraid that they were going to swap but at the same time she was like she's standing on her fundamental human right to not wear <laughs> so, a that, bra. so that goes to the point yeah. there's, there's this campaign that was started last year um it was new york city some women mm -hmm. decided that they were going to campaign to decriminalize nudity because you know in most countries mm -hmm. or most states mm -hmm. Um, communities nudity yeah. is a crime mm -hmm. so or an offense mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so yeah. um they their campaign was and they have a, tr a like a 90 minute uh, documentary okay. on not wearing bras and the question you know they, they it was back and forth and the question was is there really a change from that old mindset of being dirty being loose being inappropriately dressed when you're not wearing a bra to liberty we we're chatting offline when we said in fact some of us music stars or even people in the public sphere wear things and then their bras are completely visible on that mm -hmm. or the, the bra yeah, becomes the, the dress yeah. because it's studded and everything and there's nothing on that so is there a shift of that mentality what do really what do you think i mean <laughs> well I, I was thinking about it just before we came in mm. here and the truth of the matter is that celebrities can get away with anything mm. we can't really yeah, yeah. I mean, is that not why they're not campaigning for the freedom of our lives? No, they can't because they, that's what they crave the attention. attention. It's part of their publicity. Yeah. I, yeah. And and like I said, the bra is con is con constricting. Mm -hmm. So obviously, getting it out, you feel freer. But mm -hmm. perception. Yeah. I don't know how the survey went. Mm -hmm. How many people felt okay? Go without a bra. I, I no, men. they wish. Many, I think they, they wish. They I think, wish. I think, I think, I think you know, ask men. All of them wanted, they advocated for, for the bras. Women, for bras. Yeah. So it's not perceived as. But they qualified no, that it must be. They qualified, so sorry. The bra. Okay, they don't want to wear the bra. They qualified that it must be fine. Must so, be. Oh, that the bra yeah, must be fine. So how do you know the bra is fine? <laughs>
uh, thing on our Facebook page, so you can always check that out. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. um, just click on Carlings. Yeah, guys, remember it's Carlings, C A R L I N G S. So you keep keeping it one bra for too long. That's mistake number one. So that the keeping the long. bra for too long. Your bra should you first of all you when must you have up to eight, eight, between eight to ten bras. The and I just trace <laughs> and, like and they must not last, they must not they must not be with you for more than six months. Ah, six to eight months. Six six months. months. Just, I'll do right. And then <laughs> I want to run through it so because yeah, of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then wearing a bra two days in a row. So I wear a bra on Monday and then on Tuesday I pick up the same bra and I wear it. Mm. It's wrong. So it's wrong. <laughs> you have to you have to let your bra. No, no, I'm speaking on behalf of some people who do this. <laughs> <laughs> You have, you have to let your bra sit out at least one day. Wow. You know, it's elastic. It's just fantastic. Uh, sorry, guys, I got your body. <laughs> yeah, me please let her finish. It helps the lifespan of the bra. Okay. Okay. So washing your bras with bleach. Okay. You know, we said that last week. Yeah, and settling for your bra that doesn't fit okay. because you've gone round and you just can't find any. Just settle for one. Then thinking you can wear a bra, a, a particular bra with every kind of outfit. Mm. You know, then insisting on contour bras, you know, those bras that are shaped. You know, when you still mm. put them down, they're still shaped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's still me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> letting the band, uh, letting your band ride up. You know, we talked about why that could what happen last week. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it. it's too big. It's too big. It's too big. It can ride up. And if then your it's too tight. And then it's too tight. It can ride up. Then fasting your bra on the tightest hook, especially when it's still new. The, okay. the, the, the remainder of the hooks are for you to move the, your bra in when they are wearing out. Okay. And then uh, wearing a bra that is too small for you. And then choosing a bra by the cup size. Okay. So I wear a D cup and I just say I wear a D cup. I can give you a 36. A 36D is like two sizes bigger than a 34D. Mm. You know, so you cannot choose by I wear a D cup. You just use so, so these are the don'ts. Yes. These, these are, these are the mistakes that we make. Mistakes that yes. people make. <laughs> Okay, so um, I was just thinking. Yeah, you also said that we should hand wash our bras, not mash and wash. Yes. yes. If, wash, going, if, going to, if you are going to mash and wash, it should be at a very low. It should spin. be. It should be yes. No, don't, you don't shouldn't even spin, spin it. No spinning. Yeah. No spinning. And then you should clasp them. Yes. And always then, clasp. And then they're wash. like laundry bags yes. that you can use yes. to. You can use to. Wash. You guys are good students. Very good. Anyway, students. so let's go to the next point, which is who can give you a bra. Who can what do you mean by who can give you like a your colleague in the office? Can she just give okay. you a like no. a gift? Or can yeah, a guy like just give a random Or can a guy, a guy, a guy that's so you thin you out? You know, hair. Hmm. He but if he can't, because he doesn't know your bra size. If he can no. measure it, like, <laughs> ah, if he has eyes. <laughs> you, know that guys, you know that guys are very good at sizing up girls. There's no you know way. Even I don't know. I didn't know my correct okay, answer. Can I tell you something? Somebody I know. Somebody I know has received underwear like from a toaster. You, you know guys are bad and not correct and I have had guy. experience experience with this you know. an average guy has had like three four five girlfriends in his lifetime mm. yeah so he has seen their boobs boob probably touched mm. and he practically knows okay this one was size 34 d so when he's oh looking goodness. at this thing okay it can be a 34 d and plus. some guys are really into those things you know some guys are really into those things that you said <laughs> okay. and they can just ask their girlfriends i have i have people come to me to ask me my girlfriend's birthday, my girlfriend's is my 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 fiance, my wife, you know. So, and I just tell them, and they can sneak. If, if there are people, if it's not a, if it's someone that has access to your inner, mm -hmm. even if even if there's nothing mm -hmm. between you guys, and it just checks your bra, mm -hmm. looks at yourself. Okay, she's a thirty-six. You, you might not mm -hmm. know. So, so who can give you a bra? I think it has to be an intimate person, mm -hmm. not just someone that's close to you. What's wrong with your sister-in-law? I mean, your yes, sister-in-law. Yes, sister yes, I mean, a female, a female, a female, a female, your female colleague. Yes, but not your male, your mother-in-law, your female colleague, your friend, your girlfriend. Yes, that's a boy. No, well, but it depends on how close you are. You can have a a a boyfriend that is not your lover. Yeah, but he's a very close boyfriend, actually closer than a girlfriend. Mm. Yeah, he can give you all these technical things. Come on, Jerry. Just go and buy your bra by yourself. Yeah, but I guess mm. the general feeling is that it's intimate. But, but and, it's difficult you know. to buy to just give a gift of a bra because they're so like like I always say, body structure. The person doesn't know, okay. except the person knows you. I want if they are consulted with maybe big yeah, and, and, and the person taking has pictures. To, you know, to the exactly. Anyways, we look. The, the last thing is while we're reading mm -hmm. up on the show, I found out that bras are not just the utility for the body again. Mm -hmm.
People are thinking of using bras for other things like like, like bionic power getting you to power your iPod, iPod or getting you to while you're you know you're using the breast movement to become engines the oxidation of for the <laughs> as, the, as you run. <laughs> yeah to become engines for different things so and I was reading an article just before we got in that says that we're even closer to getting the bionic by brother responds to your body so so how much are we going to be charging open? our friends to charge their phones <laughs> with, with our, our breasts with, with our breasts yes oh my goodness so when there's power outage and somebody's <laughs> phone is dead <laughs> but that's <laughs> business you know, you, have to, you know you have to run no you just put it to inside generate. yeah because it's the breast no motion. problem you know, you the know money my, you must know be worth it this. personal take on okay this. let's hear these things will always have side effects yeah uh, let's keep to the natural thing yeah <laughs> when you're now using breast to charge for <laughs> an ipod an, an ipod i mean but where did you guys see that from Can you it's, 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 ongoing different, research. it's ongoing for 15 years research, they've been yeah. studying it they've had different where's the energy going to come from the body the breast from movement, from the movement and the, the, the movement generation the but what energy. about the radiation from phones you know yeah. really you, when or you iPod. Yeah. excuse me excuse me it's actually very unhealthy yeah for your breasts to move up and down when you're exercising. No, small movement. No, it's just that's a tiny movement. movement. We gotta go, guys. We gotta go. <laughs> anyway, so it's the bra is now more than a bra. It's a, it's it's a, a, it's a tool for yeah. power generation. It's an outfit. <laughs> I've completely enjoyed it's this. It's a and fashion I hope accessory. You, right. I hope you guys have as well. We would love feedback. Um, so yeah. The... Okay, so you can um, join our Facebook page, Girlfriends on Radio. Join us on Twitter at Girlfriend zero zero six and Collins. Yeah, Facebook page Collins. Collins. Yeah, yes. that's C A. Get all the information there. Yeah, C A R L I N G S. So you want to consult with Adiola? Trust me, she knows what she's talking about. All right, we have to go. Bye. Bye. Guys. Bye.